हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज संदीप रतूरी एंड इन दिस एक्सरसाइज आई विल शो यू हाउ टू डायनेमिकली चेंज द कलर ऑफ ए बार और कॉलम चार्ट बेस्ड ऑन कंडीशंस यूजिंग डैक्स कोड फॉर एग्जांपल लेट सपोज दैट इफ माय सेल्स आर लेस देन 500 आई वांट द बार कलर टू बी रेड इफ द सेल्स आर ग्रेटर देन 500 देन द कलर शुड बी ऑरेंज अदरवाइज it should be a different color. This means I want to change colors dynamically based on the data. Generally we set bar or column chart colors manually but in this video I will show you how to apply conditional formatting to achieve this automatically. If you have a similar requirement this video will be very helpful for you. Also many times interviewers ask this question in Power BI interviews. As you can see, I have a clustered column chart with same column colors. If you check the formatting options for this chart, you will notice that you can only manually change the colors for the each category. However, my requirement is to change the colors dynamically based on sales. To achieve this, we need to write a DAX measure and then use it in conditional formatting to control the colors of the visual. Now let's start the practical. First, you need to create a measure by right click on the data set name and select a new measure. First, provide the measure name, column, color code and after that write this DAX code. Now, I will explain this DAX code in detail. First, we used switch DAX function. The switch function is used to evaluate multiple conditions. And next, we use true DAX function. The true function allows multiple logical comparison inside switch DAX function. And after that, we have multiple conditions as you can see that. So, first condition we have if sum of sales is less than or equal to 500, then it will return the red color. And for red color, this is the X color code. Next condition we have, if sum of sales is greater than 500 and sum of sales less than or equal to 3000, then it will return the orange color. And this is the X color code for orange. And last condition we have, if sum of sales greater than 3000 then it will return the green color and for green color this is the hex color code and in the else part if sales does not match with any condition so it will return the gray color and this is the hex color code for gray and after that click on commit so as you can see here measure has been created successfully now we will call this measure in the cluster column chart. So select the cluster column chart, go to the format option, open the columns option and ensure in this drop down all is select. And after that you can see the function button here, click on function button and in the format style drop down select the field value and next expand this drop down and here expand your data set and select your measure and click on OK. As you can see, the column colors have now changed based on our conditions and the colors specified in the DAX code. Now the next question is, how do you find the hex color code? It's very easy. You can either search on Google or you can use this method. Select the chart, go to the format your visual option and open the column section and from categories drop down select any category and here you can see the color option click on color drop down after that click on more colors and here you can see the hex color code and from this slider you can choose your color and here you can see the hex color code of your selected color and from here copy the hex color code and note it down somewhere and later on 
you can use this x color code in your dex measure that's all for this video if you liked it please like share comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you